Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of... I'm not really sure what this episode is. But over the years, a lot of you have asked what I look like and to share a picture. Well, you ask... Boogeyman! And you shall receive. And before you make a comment, I've had this t-shirt for almost 20 years and it's my favorite shirt. So until it literally falls off of me, I'm going to continue to wear it. For you, the people, so you don't have to. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know my love for crabs and all seafood. And up here in the Chesapeake Bay region, it's crab season. And I get excited, especially when I can't have crabs. And I get excited for eating crabs throughout the summer. But then I get disappointed because I don't have any to pick or eat. So periodically, I'll go over to this guy's channel and watch him eat crabs and vicariously live through them for the moment. And his enthusiasm towards crabs is incredible. He simply goes ham on crabs and eats them like a madman. And here he shows you the foolproof way of getting claw meat out of the claw every single time. You don't need a mallet or a butter knife. So what you want to do is you want to bite right past the claw itself, gently, not bite through, but gently. And you want to work it left and right and just pull it out of there. Look at all that meat. That's exactly how you do it. There's no reason to get a mallet and bash it until you ruin the meat. This is uh, the first step in eating crab. Every, most people start with the claw, so. Mm. so it's nice and meaty. You peel that cartilage off, take the bottom part, and that's it for that. So that's it on the claw. And if you know, if you do it the right way, if you can see inside of that, you don't see anything. No meat left. Okay. Now this guy is not a novice crab eater or picker, but he just made a novice mistake. The crab claw is like a human arm. You have a forearm and a bicep. He only ate the forearm and left the bicep full of meat. Now here's a crab that I was picking and you can see all the meat that's in the bicep that he missed. Got my nice tall can of beer. And beer is definitely a must when you're picking crabs. Now, if you want to be a good crab eater, you have to be a good licker, good sucker, and all of that good stuff. If you're not a good licker or a good sucker, take it how you want, you're not going to be a good crab eater. He's got a good point there. Now, I'm going to fast forward through this part because he's getting ready to go beast mode on this crab. Got it away. Sometimes you'll get a little mustard on the bottom part of that. You can lick that. It's good. This is the right way to eat crab, so there's no ill and all that stuff involved. What I do is come here to the back part, use my thumb. This is the most important part here. Stick my thumb all the way in there while I'm pulling it apart, gently, right? And it's hot, hot. So usually I would stick my thumb all the way down in there and, you know, get it a lot better. But I'm going to put the shell to the side. This right here on the side is the dead man. You don't want to eat that. It'll make you sick. Peel all that away. Completely. Peel all of it away. Completely. All the way all the way back to where I put my thumb in to open up the crab. Get that side. Get this side. Right? Get all of this little uh, cartilage and stuff that has to do with the lungs, the little, uh, I guess, ligaments or whatever. Okay? Now, what's inside of this middle part? Most people do not eat it. It's good eating. This is where the mustard is, and this is where the guts are. And it's good eating. And the best way to get that, don't break it open first. The best way to get this and clean it all out is use that thumb. Now, I agree with what he's getting ready to do, but I don't eat all the stuff that he eats. I'm not saying it's wrong at all, but my gag reflexes couldn't take it. And you go right here at the beginning, dig your thumb way in there, and come up with it. Mmm, that's delicious. That's the mustard, the guts. He's 100% right about the mustard. It's one of my favorite parts of the crab. But the guts? When I saw him do this the first time, it was definitely a first for me. There's still some mustard left down in there, right? And like I said, if you're not a good sucker or a good liquor, you're not going to be a good crab eater. So check it out. Mmm, mmm. That's all the rest of that mustard. Just listen to his enthusiasm and desire to get all that crab meat out. Mm. 
and it's excellent. That's it. So now you have a nice, clean body cred, right? With the dead man peeled away. Dug my finger in there to get all of that mustard and guts up, and I, and I stopped my thumb right there, and that's when I lifted it off of my thumb. Now we get back to the uh, to the shell. Got a little juice in there, that's good, good juice. Here's another part of crab eating I've never done or even thought of. This is the face. What I do is I push the face away, gently, right? And then I pick it up. Within all of this, you have the eyes on the side, and you have the stomach. You don't want to bite into the stomach. If you bite into the stomach, you probably wouldn't want to eat crabs ever, ever again. Okay? So what I like to do is uh, eat the eyes. Just stick with eating the eyes, people. Avoid the stomach. And what I do with the stomach is the, the lining around the stomach. Mm. You can eat that the lining around the crab stomach is like crab tripe. Well, that's good eating. And a lot of times, if you get a crab that has a lot of mustard in it, it'll be mustard all around there. So, okay. So I pushed out the face, had the stomach, had the eyes on each end, ate the eyes, and I ate the lining around the stomach. And there's the stomach right there. That's the stomach. Okay. Still on the shell. I like to dig my finger on that end. All the way in at the, at the inside of the shell. Okay, now I do do this. To me, it's one of the tastiest parts of the crab. Get this finger. Dig all the way inside, right? All of this stuff inside of the shell is all is all body. It's all body essence. It's not actually meat. I mean, it, it is meat, but it's not meat. Sometimes if you pull it out right, it looks like the beginning of a soft shell crab. Meat that's attached to muscles is not that kind of meat, but it's body meat essence and here it all is right here and what you could do is well what I do is <laughs> eat all of that mm. Mm. that's it that's a complete shell that's eight by me and what I like to do with the body got the back fence here leave those in intact now if you're not familiar with blue crabs this is the prized jumbo lump crab meat that costs almost $100 a pound in the stores now. A lot of people like to pluck the fin, pluck the body out. And when you pluck it out, if you're eating crabs with people, it gets the juice and the season and all that pops in people's faces. When that juice pops in their face, you steal their crab meat. So what I do is I take the body right here, right after I clean everything out the middle, and I push it to the inside. Push it to the inside, okay? A lot of times you'll get a big chunk of meat here. And every leg that I pulled off, every leg that I pulled off, inside of every one of these crevices is a slot of meat. And you just have to find the best way to get to it. So what I want to do, I'm going to get the back fin first because this is the this is the fattest, uh, uh, the fattest crevice of all of these legs, right? So what I like to do is come to maybe the second leg. This is the take the back fin as the first one, you come to the second one and third one, go between the second and third one, and I like to bite down gently. I do it exactly like this, that way you get the whole jumbo lump at one time without breaking it apart. All right, bite down gently, pull it apart, and all of that will be included with the back fin when you pull the back fin off, all right? And you just peel off the sides gently. His broke up a little bit just like mine did here, but it's still the best and the most expensive part of the crab. Peel off the sides gently, and sometimes when you peel the sides off, some meat will come with it. You just eat the meat, right? But the main goal is to keep all that meat together when you pull off the sides. There's still a lot right there, but this is what I was aiming for. Mm. All meat, nice and clean. Mm. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. And all the rest of this. And when he says, mm, 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 he's correct. That's like a mouthful of heaven. You just dig inside of that crevice and you eat it. And this is how the meat is situated inside the crab. All the meat is inside each crevice. 
And for the rest of the video, he continues to eat crabs, but his enthusiasm and love for eating these crabs and the way he eats them is what stood out to me, and I love it. Even though he missed the bicep of the crab claw. Give me all the mustard you want, but I'm not gonna eat the guts though. The only thing that I do different than what he's doing is I would have a little bowl of apple cider vinegar and a little bowl of Old Bay seasoning or J.O. seasoning to dip the crab meat in. So if you're a crab lover like I am, go get a dozen or two or even a bushel. Support your local waterman. And if you've never tried eating blue crabs, you gotta give them a try. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you soon.